good morning and how are we today back on this bad boy as you've seen last time fitted the sliding door but i want to have a little look at doing some dash wiring get that a bit more readier and i need to have a little quick look at that linkage because it's not selecting gear very well so that needs to be looked it up but morning afternoon what you doing a wee little clean before you put it back on Still waiting on the steering rack for that bad boy. So if you remember last time, John was doing the uh, steering rack on this. But still waiting for that. So while he's waiting, he's doing that. Do the time in. So that is what Mr. Johnny Boy's up to. Time in on this and then over finishing that bad boy that is what he's up to i need to sort out that gear linkage pretty sure because we raised the engine up the linkage is going back instead of going straight it's sort of going up at an angle i'm technically down at an angle but pretty sure it's that need to go underneath and try and space that down a little bit and mess about with this whole dash situation because would be nice to sort of it's not a wonderful amount that he's doing just need to tidy up all the wires that are in there make it a bit more pretty if you've seen in the last one that door opens so nice oh my my phone if you remember in the last one we tidied all the slot up there's a carpet that needs to go in the front and then there's the dash which again needs to go in the front and then there's all this room so happy days at least i've had a nice little tidy up wanted to sort the lights out and happy 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 i'm gonna try and get a few bits and bobs sorted out and get myself ready i think the first job is i want to have a look at our gear linkage because i'm really struggling to get gears i mean, you know i'm literally only moving it backwards and forwards and over a bit but trying to get it from first to reverse is an absolute pain in the ass so Let's try and raise this thing up, get underneath it, sort that linkage out. See you in Well, there we go, a little bit later than uh, I expected. I ever so slightly started raising my van up so I could get underneath it. And me and John has gone a secret mission. Secret. Also, while we were doing secret mission stuff, we collected this, which is for this. Yes. One needs to do that. So we could finish that one and then finish that one and then... Yeah, we need to get that one off the ramp so John can finish that one properly. And we can't move that until that's on. So, yeah, when he did that. Mr. Dynamo with his pneumonia. This fan looks slightly different to last time. Ta-da! All done, out. All done, yeah. <laughs> nice, please. But Mr. Dynamo's still not 100% yet. No. So, we'll leave Mr. Dynamo to struggle on in peace. Good job, the boy is more, yeah. So, my job, get underneath it, jack this up so I can crawl underneath. All right, you know what? I'm gonna get this thing up in the air, and I'll pick you guys up in a minute once the van's actually in the air, so. See you in a moment. Steering rack in. Wow, it's in place. Yeah. So now John needs to do all the rest of it. Yeah, just put it up and back up now so we can go with that. And then we back in line. And then all the fun, messy bits can go back on. And I'm now about to do my job. Also, I am on axle stands. I need to undo the bolts and drop the linkage down a little bit. <sighs> I don't 
on one oh. But I need to. So I'm going to get that done. And I'm going to try and sort out that because for some reason my short shift's really clunky. So I'm going to adjust it. And try and make it less clunky. Clunky. Uh. I do hope you can see this. Right, I need to take this off, because I can take this off, and I can take the short shifty bit off. Oh. I don't have enough room to swing a cat around. <coughs> Who says a ratchet doesn't make a good hammer? There we go. Now I just need to move. Ah, oh, I need a screwdriver. Right, now I've covered everything in oil. Let's put this back. There we go, that was easier than I thought. Ugh. And then that goes in there. Get the ratchet hammer out. I need that spanner that I can't reach. There we go. Hopefully, that will feel a lot more better. Throw the tools. Right. Hopefully, you can actually see me. But I'm just going to do a little bit more tidying up underneath here. I'll see you guys on the top side in a mo. In a mo. Right, there's that done. I did remove the exhaust tip off because it wasn't sat very well. So that's also come off. But does my gears feel like they could go in? Ooh. Oh, that feels better. Oh, I can find reverse. Yeah, boy. That works. Sorry bumper. Also, don't worry, that is my bumper. But that's done. I don't think there's anything else that needs doing. So axle stands out, van down. Plan. Ta da! Back on the floor. And I did sort of lower it a bit more. So it's now sat on the tyre. Ta da! Ta -da! Ta -da! So there we go. I'm going to tidy up a few tools I've got kicking about. Go have a coffee. And I'll see you guys in a minute when I get on with the next thing that I do. See you tomorrow. Well, I've got up to a few bits and bobs. Tidied up a few bits and bobs in here. I have also had a delivery of hose. And as you can see, I have multiple colours. That we're going to get into in another day. But, this is turned up. No, I think he meant like it didn't. I like that. But, that's in here. She's smoky. The new owner's just... How long has he had it for? Three weeks. Three weeks. Okay. He's trying to find out what, when, where and how. And figure out why she's smoky. <laughs> So that needs a little bit of fault finding and yeah, we'll have a look at that one, probably be the next video. This bad boy, didn't have a chance to actually show much of John doing that, but she is completely done and dusted. Happy, happy. So this needs to come out. And we now need to play musical dickheads. 
because that has to come out, but this has to move, that has to get out, that's probably going to have to move. If we get that out, and then we need to put that there. <sighs> so we're going to have a go at moving stuff about and seeing what stuff's happening. All right, anyway, I'm going to put the camera down, so I'll see you in a minute. Well, what we've done is made an executive, an executive decision, and we're not going to move anything about now. Do it in the morning. Since we just had a random conversation, we've just, just remembered that we have uh, an NC500 trip to do in about two months. And so far, <laughs> we are nowhere near ready. This van is not ready. That van is not ready. In fact, the engine for it is right there. And Dave's van. Just about see it there. But we need to get a hustle on and get that done, I think, because we ain't going to NC500 if we don't get that done. So, luckily enough, there's not a wonderful amount more that needs to do. I need to figure something out with that intercooler because I don't know what to do. I'm thinking I might just run the standard one for now just to have the intercooler. I need to run this thing up to temperature properly. Because I've only started it just to move it and currently I have nothing in there so that might be tomorrow's job run this thing back up to temp and get this thing a bit more ready but did have an issue with the rocker cover I think I've now resolved that that's what I was doing off camera a minute ago and that is where we're gonna oh my ratchet that is where we're gonna leave that for today a few more little Bitty Botty's done. I think in the next video, run a few of those fancy lines, put them in there, and run some coolant in there, run up to temp. That's the plan. But I'm gonna get myself gone. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, give it a like, why not? But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for putting out a bar the mass. And as always, take it easy.